Uh, Gorman, I'm, I'm curious how you feel about the way the game's evolved over the last couple of years, whether it's because of analytics or, or player development. People are, are throwing harder. There are a lot more strikeouts. There seem to be certain lost arts, like situational hitting, hitting behind runners, even even running the bases. Um, how do you feel about some of the ways the, the game has changed? on the field? Well, I think some of the obvious ones, uh, first of all, uh, it seems to be all about statistics, uh, using the percentiles and I mean, we never saw, never even dreamed of having uh, such a dramatic shift on certain players, even though, you know, they were 98% correct, but we never saw that. You know, never, I mean, the only team that I can remember that I ever saw shifted like that was the Minnesota Twins when Gene Mock was there. And when I would come up to bat, uh, Will Fong, the second baseman, he would stand right behind the second base bag and he, he was doing calisthenics, you know. And I told him, uh, I told the umpire, I said, what the hell is he doing out there? He can't do that, you know? So I told him to stop doing that. But, you know, just trying to disrupt your, you know, you know your concentration. But the ongoing things that I, uh, I'm not really big on, uh, the first one is that you can't break up the double play at second base. You learned that in the Little League, okay? When you're a Little League player, you're eight years old, seven years old, whatever it may be, that's the way you were taught to play. Right, you go in as hard as you possibly can, but you don't go in with your cleats up. You're not trying to spike somebody up around the belly or something like that. You just want to try to hit him as hard as you can to disrupt the double play. So that's number one right there. I mean, that's that's part of the game. It always has been. I thought it was always going to be, but you never know. Then we have uh, what would be the other thing? Okay, you can't hit the catcher. I mean, they're dressed like a samurai warrior. They got all the gear on, you know. <laughs> I mean, I busted my knee going in uh, into Bob Boone in the playoffs in 82. It tore my knee up a little bit. But, you know, here again, you don't want a cheap shot. You're not in the game to, you know, the cheap shot and take, a, you know, take advantage of someone's helplessness at a certain individual point in time. You play hard. You get a reputation as a hard-nosed player. Uh, I think that I was pretty well known for somebody that came in hard. Uh, Hal McCray was one that came in hard. Don Baylor, they, he came in hard. But see, that's the way you're supposed to play. You're supposed to, there's only one way to play, and that's as hard as you can. Then, you know, you got this thing, you know, where you point to the, uh, the home plate umpire that you want to put the batter on first base, intentional walk, <laughs> save, saving time. I mean, I've seen it more, more times than people would believe. We were in Toronto one day. Reggie Cleveland was pitching for us. And, you know, they wanted to put the, you know, the arm out, you know, put the guy on. Reggie threw it off to backstop. The two runs scored and we lost the ball game. So, I mean, it's all this craziness, you know. I think replay has its place. Uh, the umpires are a human, and it's a bang-bang situation. I mean, Billy Bob, whomever, out of the stands, you know, he thinks he can be infallible as well. But, you know. They're human. You can't. You, and I hope to God it never gets to a situation where we're going to be calling balls and strikes by a robot or radar or whatever else they're going to come up with. You got your real good umpires and you've got some that are not quite as good or maybe not even average. But um, who are we to be critical of him? If he stinks, you can tell him he stinks. All right. But you got to be able to have a little conversation with him. Uh, I remember when I would, uh, my first big league spring training, <laughs> we were playing in Phoenix uh, against the Giants, and Jim Quick was the umpire behind the plate. And I had Jim in the minor leagues prior to that uh, that day. So the first pitch was low. I turned to Jim. I said, that ball was low. He says, Gorman, that ball was a strike, and so was the next one. So I, <laughs> I kind of learned my, Wait, uh, my lesson. Wait, 